Um, I'm so, so excited. My cousin Kayla is here tonight. I didn't know if she would ever be able to watch me play again, let alone be here. So um, I love you. A lot of people might know Kayla and I. We're the same age. Our mums are sisters. We grew up doing everything together. Kayla was born with cystic fibrosis and um, five months ago Kayla had a double lung transplant. So um, she's doing really well. The fact that she's here in Melbourne watching me play this week is phenomenal, I think. So I'm even going to get teary even talking about it. But um... I'd been waiting almost three years and I just had a little pager and it was about four in the morning. I was fast asleep and I just heard this noise going off and I picked it up and it said, call the hospital now. Um, and so it was 4 a.m. in Perth and Case was actually playing at the time in the US Open. And so I sent her a message just saying it's a go and I went into surgery and woke up about eight hours later and Case was there, I think, by my side. I don't usually go to the locker room and grab my phone, but I don't know, for some reason I thought, just need to make contact with home because I was just, and I sat on the bike and Kayla said, oh my God, it's time. And I started bursting in tears and I remember my coach coming up and saying, it's okay, you just lost, but you actually played really well. I'm like, no, my cousin, she's got lungs. It's, it's happening, it's time. And I just remember feeling like, so many emotions in that as well and um oh we we're so nervous and worried how it would turn out it's just been amazing hasn't yeah it? <laughs> Honestly, it's amazing it's going up seeing with all the tubes and that out of the you know and getting over it she's a strong little kid it had been so long that i'd been waiting and i kind of in a way wasn't expecting it um, and then I cried a little bit as well for the donor, like I was so excited, I was getting a new lease on life and there was a family out there who were grieving because someone had just passed away so yeah I really felt for them but was extremely grateful at the same time and I think waiting at the hospital just every emotion possible, I was nervous, I was excited and yeah I just wanted to get into the surgery and wake up and then I woke up and I could breathe for the first time in my life. <laughs> I couldn't even really walk 100 metres, I couldn't laugh without coughing and now I'm in Melbourne like watching Case, cheering for her and yeah I'm just so grateful for some amazing family and donor out there. I, I've often texted Kayla and been like oh my god I just did a set of stairs and I was dying but then I thought of you and I can I can breathe so you know what I'm okay I don't care if it hurts um, I'm gonna keep going so yeah there's off, plenty of times that I've been like and all I have to do is think of Kayla and think you know what it's okay, whatever I'm going through, and not only. And now I say to her, three, to a week after my lung transplant, I was walking upstairs. You can do it. <laughs> Don't be a wuss. I know. <laughs> now she's so tough on me, so nah, it's cool, late. Like. We're very proud of Casey. She's tried hard, full of life. And Kayla, getting through a lung transplant, being able to come is just wonderful. <laughs> First time she had to travel for four years, been able to travel for four years. Yeah, no, Casey, very close. Listen, you've got Nana up there. You've got your cousin, Kayla. I know how much this means to you. We've been talking about that little emblem on your top case. <laughs> Don't, Stumpsy. Um, I'm so, so excited. My cousin, Kayla, is here tonight. I didn't know if she would ever be able to watch me play again, let alone be here. So, um, I love you. <laughs> well, I'm so proud of the both of you. Congratulations. On to the final. Grand Slam. Final. Uh, to the and Ashley Darby. What a great moment. Well done, girls.